Imagine tossing a few stones into the sea to create a stunning waterfront plaza. It's a hit, drawing crowds of tourists. But soon you notice a problem. People at the back can't see over the heads in front. Being the clever one you are, you decide to raise the center of the plaza, forming a higher platform with steps. Now, everyone at the back gets a clear view of the sparkling sea. Plus, you use the height difference to craft terrace platforms, linked by steps on both sides, giving even more spots to soak in the ocean breeze. To make the plaza more than just a viewpoint, you get creative and carve out two sunken spaces right in the heart of it. Inside, you add tiered seating and stages, topping them with roofs to create two magnificent theaters. But the roofs, they're a bit bland, that's when your brilliance shines through. You picture an orange, sliced and stood upright, three segments facing forward, one tilting back. It's a design that evokes sails catching the wind, and echoes the curves of deep seashells. Stunning, right? There's a catch, though. The workers are stumped by the complex curves. No problem for you. You cleverly slice the four-segment orange in half, and project it onto a sphere with a 75-meter radius. This genius move means all the curved surfaces share the same radius, making the structure easier to build. You assemble a framework of ribs, all with that same radius, and cover them with uniform concrete panels. Just like that, you've crafted the iconic shell-like roof. To top it all off, you use the same approach to add a restaurant nearby, rounding out the plaza's offerings with a place to dine by the sea. And there you have it. Congratulations, you've just designed the Sydney Opera House.